I don't really want to do this, but I don't either. <laughs> oh my god. I feel so icky. Well, this is so this is my particular brand of bullshit. Um the show? Yeah. yeah. I think I had a very particular both of us, yeah. but I think I had a very particular response to this. And it's going to be um I could see a lot of people checking out. Like, sure. being like this is not what I signed up for, but I mean getting, it's not, but well, if you if you don't already know me, I don't know yeah. your relationship to me or our show, but um this episode devastated me in a way that yeah. few things have. I don't remember. I mean, I I'm a little prone to to theatrics. Like I, I get misty and things when yeah. they want me to and all of that. But when the mass was starting, I felt so helpless yeah. and so utterly sick to my stomach because it's too real. It's way oh well for what's going on. It's um, also so much like the tapes from Jonestown. Mm-hmm. It's so much like Jonestown. But just and this is this is getting into my personal and political beliefs, but I just given the these times, I think that there's a lot of evil masquerading as as good as as good and 100%. as god's fight and being given and as righteousness su- yeah being given such a graspable uh metaphor sort yeah. of like such a graspable attainable microcosm where i had my handful of characters that i knew their names yeah. and knew what they meant uh-huh. and just sort of i felt utterly helpless watching it unfold because you just understand cause i made a comment when um, Sarah and Mildred and Aaron joined the processional where I was yeah. like, why would they ever do that? And it's the kind of thing that it's like, you, you were like, well, they, <laughs> they need to know what's happening. They need to know, like they, they want to be able to help the handful of people. Cause they, they tried, but what are you going to do? Like, Some of those people couldn't drink that shit fast enough. Like Aaron was trying to knock it out of people's hands and they were like, at, like alcoholics trying uh-huh. to drink. I mean, ugh. it was like, and I've said this a few times recently because we were watching a handful of challenging things at the moment, but yeah. it truly was what, like watching a snuff film. It was horrible. Truly it, horrible. It, and, and the other, I mean, the most horrible part to me was when Ali drank the, because I was like, he has not been taking communion, but evidently he had been. It's just, it's so fascinating to me, the moment in which you're, you've lost control. Yeah. Like there, everything was fine. Like they were sort of like, it was normal. It was normal. They were safe. It was normal. And then in an instant they weren't. Because even Ed and Annie were like, um, wait a minute. Aaron tried. And that's the thing we talk about this. We like, we like to watch a lot of supernatural shows and it's a it's a very fine it's a very delicate balance to find the 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 balance of real, realism yeah. and fantasy and it's something that teen wolf did we thought very very well where at a certain point the show just allowed itself to be a fantasy yeah mm-hmm. and you got characters being like something magic's happening and then a close personal friend would be like i believe you yeah and they would go about their way mm-hmm. and the places where this is and isn't that show is yeah. fascinating well, because, because like Aaron and Sarah, <laughs> the characters we want to be like, I believe you aren't necessarily uh, yeah. doing it. But like Aaron and Sarah and Millie, all three are like, they knew I'm, I'm with you. Something's because like Mildred is like 40. Uh huh. They knew. So I like the three of them as a trio. And now at the end of this episode. And there was something so relieving about Sarah being the scientist, about Sarah being yeah. that and that whole because that's in the trailer, like the what's a little crazy between friends. Yep. And it's far more ominous in the trailer than it is in the actual show. Yeah. And I just sort of love the the because we're doing we're doing this so much in this show where we're speaking one way and we the audience understand it means the exact opposite. Yeah. And so Aaron's like, yeah, it does sound crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and, but, and we understand that that means yeah. it's not like so oh god i like the thing that kind of blew my mind was that because i was like oh god then the ones that like the ones that drank the like compound 1080 or whatever there's gotta all, be a better way 
Because that has to taste like ass. That has to burn your esophagus going down. I like don't regardless. And you're melting from the inside out. It's got to be awful. Yeah, regardless. I mean, whatever. But then even worse than that. Also, where's Vampire Pike? Oh, well, he wasn't taking communion. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it, the, the, vampire pit bull dog. The, uh, Zack Snyder would have done it. Is he all I'm saying. It, <laughs> we would have gotten a vampire pit bull. So, but then even worse than melting from the inside is then the rest of the people got bitten with human teeth, which is something that you hate. But then they well, we haven't seen well. if they have fangs. Human teeth or fangs. We haven't quite seen, but yeah. it just just because you're i i'm going i i'm actually caught up in the religion the religiosity of it yeah. all and you're from a very culty like jonestown it's place very there's gonna be so many eyes in the final episode uh -huh. all these human eyes that glow okay so and it's just like the the dread the way that the dread sort of gradually creeped in because oh, yeah. the three women try to leave and sturgis they're all four people those three women and sturgis were talking in code they all yeah. knew what was happening and all those three the women were like yeah. Fuck, we're screwed. Yeah. But they had no other option other than going through the motions. Both of the fairies were sent away. He was like dismantling essentially all of the fishing boats. They cut the power, they cut the cell line. So this island now is completely cut off. He, and he has just enough hesitation to make it tragic. Sturge? Oh, 100%. He's not, a, I don't think he's, I mean, he is now, but I think he was very like misguided or like, you know, uh, unsure. It was peer about pressure it. on his part. So. Here is the thing that bothers me, which bothers me about all things like this. There is an episode of Buffy in season three that does the same thing. And it's all it actually there's multiple episodes of Buffy. Mm -hmm. But my issue is, OK, so every single person on this island now is going to be a vampire one way or the other. And if they're not like Sarah has not been taking communion. So fine. They eat Sarah. Then there's. They eat Sarah and Sheriff, the sheriff, and then there's no more human people. Ev they go to the mainland. Everyone. On what fucking boat? They can fly, I guess. I don't know. Well, only the actual angel has wings. Uh, whatever. Okay, that's just my thing, though. It's like, okay, fine. Now you've made yourself all vampires. Now what? You can't just. That's that's like, that's the end. It's like, why do you want to send the world to hell? You live here. But they don't think they are. They have manipulated themselves into thinking that this is revelation. No, this no, no. Is... Of course, of course. That, but that was more. That was a Buffy reference again. Uh -huh. Why are you sending the world to hell? You live here, but it's also like, where are you going to get food after the finite people on this island are dead? Yeah, but that's not what cults are about. Like, I know, but it's just like blowing my like. I like. When are we going to get that mm -hmm. like revelation <laughs> that they're going to be like, oh fuck, we don't have any more food? Like, is are they just all going to feed from the angel the whole time? I don't yeah, know. I don't, I, the logistics of this. And I'm, with, I, I'm with you where it's like the less we have of the, the angel, the yeah. better. That was hilarious, though, that it was wearing robes, too. <laughs> Again, like, this, this, is, me, this is also so close to, I already said, yeah. to being like farce. a farce where it's like I keep sort of waiting for an office style cutaway with the angel. Just being like, Ugh. yeah, like <laughs> making a gym face <laughs> at the camera. <laughs> Where, like, what is his in game in all this? Does yeah. he have one? I mean, I don't know. I do. Okay, we don't know who he is, and I at this point, I don't know that we're going to find yeah. out. I'm so glad we're doing this because my blood pressure is already so much lower because we laughed a little. Um, but that is the thing. I do kind of feel like the angel is a little caught up in this whole thing, <laughs> where he's just like, "If I'd have known." Oh uh, yes, we, <laughs> we find out that he's like the doofus of the vampire community. They were like, "We put you in that temple on purpose." <laughs> it's, it's, it's the vampire equivalent of the dunce hat. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and now he's got yeah. And like I said, going back into like real world stakes, because I mean, again, I'm I'm not being dramatic i'm not being fl flamboyant but i'm like we're in the middle of like both a medical and political plague like pandemic yeah. of of just stupidity and misinformation and to be watching it happen and again like the people in the positions of power the mayor the 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 priest like watching yeah. how they are abusing and manipulating the handyman the who has the ability to take they're away supposed to be is. taking care of in god's name it yeah. just i've never seen any i've never seen it represented quite like this and yeah. That just that massacre. Oh, God. It it was so 
terrifying and upsetting. And it's just like, I, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, this cannot be undone. Yeah. It no. cannot be undone. No, definitely. And not. these people are throwing their lives away. Mm -hmm. Like you said, they couldn't get to the drink fast enough. And yeah, I mean, oh God. And then, I mean, I've, Bev's gone rogue. I don't know what's happened. Well, Bev's been rogue. So, so she was poisoning the priest, but we, I still don't know if well, it was on his order. Yeah, but it would, t it seemed to take so long. I don't know. She had to have been poisoning something else too, but I still am. I'm sure. preparing myself that I'm going to have some questions, questions that aren't answered, yeah. which yeah. I suppose is fine, but. So I guess we should note that the uh, Mildred shot the angel or shot the Monsignor <sighs> and then the angel dragged her away. So I'll be honest. It, the, the We're assuming it's Alex Esso who's playing yeah. Mildred. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I, I think she's doing a fantastic job. I think she's doing the best that she possibly can. I mean, yeah. she really gave it some oomph. Um, her her old age portrayal. It, it was it was a hair on the silly side in the first few episodes. It was a lot of like, oh, honey, yeah. <laughs> it it did it did, it did kind of remind me of when they when when Heather Graham had to play like the elderly. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, in the, in the... No, she 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 was doing a fantastic job. I understand the necessity. I think this is the best case scenario. Sure, sure, sure. Versus de aging or mm -hmm. bringing in a new human. Yeah. I mean, I suppose play, yeah. they could have done that. I don't know. But the point is, I I never would have guessed that that she was going to be such the anti Bev, like yeah. <laughs> such a ride or die. Like yeah. I don't know. I never would have. The, the Mildred and Sarah are girls. Mildred, Sarah, and Aaron. Yeah. Uh, support your local girl group. I don't know. And it she shot. Yeah. She shot Monsignor. She shot Monsignor. Yeah. And then the angel. Yeah. Took her out. That's the last we saw. But I mean, she's been taking communion. Up until like I two days ago. I don't want that for anybody. I, poor Ali. Poor Sheriff Hassan. I mean, okay, so the humans we have left are the Sheriff, Annie, Aaron, Sarah, and Lisa are, th I think, the only humans we have left. It's like all the girls and then Warren. And Warren, because Warren got out of there too. Ed got. His friend did not, and Ed did not. His friend fucking was one well, of the yeah. ones that couldn't drink it fast enough. And then Ed got overtaken by the zombie vampire or whatever things. And so then he has died and will then wake up again. But I don't know, man. I just it's, it's just one of those things that's like this is extremely short sighted for like how you think it's going to play out. But the metaphor is, too, because if we're going back to my point about the social political commentary. Yeah. No, yeah, it's so short sighted. I, I just, mean, these people who are fighting hand over fist yeah. to to make sure that we are not protecting and fixing the environment and yeah. that we're not like it's so so short-sighted like yeah. it's so so i mean i'm not trying to go to that place but that's what was making it so unbelievably oh yeah real to me 100 is i was just like th this show just gave me a tangible boogeyman yeah for the anxiety of the past two let alone six years yeah and mitch mcconnell wasn't good enough <laughs> Sorry, I really took it there that no, time. No, I had a I had a flashback to his like rotting flesh. hand. <laughs> oh god. Okay. So those are our humans left. Aaron fucking shot Bev. That which was, was amazing. We laughed out loud. It that was a, yeah. a real chef's kiss tension breaker that we needed. Yeah. Because Bev was just like, you'll you'll I'll just be five minutes behind. And then Aaron was like, Well, and then she goes, we, got we got five, five minutes. minutes. <laughs> and then they all booked it. I want to know. I'm. I'm very. I'm very anxious for the final episode. I want to know where they're gonna go. I want to know how they're gonna try to somewhere end. Somewhere only they know. Somewhere only they know. Probably. I wonder if any of them are gonna be like decent. Like, is Ed going to like come around and be cool? Like, are we gonna get Mildred back in some capacity? Are we gonna, gonna get to Riley help? in a Jesus Christ esque? Like, <laughs> I. We should be so lucky. <laughs> I mean, who like yeah. I, I, if anyone was going to pull it off? OK, I am also very curious about the Monsignor's behavior after he, he got shot in the head. He was weird. After he got shot in the head. He was awake. But he was awake and he's going to heal evidently. But then Bev came back in and started spouting a bunch more shit. And it seemed like he was shaking his head. Oh, she no. pivoted. Well, no, she was like because he had a plan. Yeah. So it, it seems like okay. he's the one. That had the, but we're one of the idiots who, you know, who it's lives, like, here. Who lives here. So yeah. it's like, I think he had a system that he was going to put into place and Bev's got the spirit. 
She's Ooh. speaking in tongues. Mm. Support your local girl group, but shun your local Bev. No good comes from a Bev, <laughs> is all I'm saying. I feel silly because I every Ryan Ryan Murphy that was <laughs> please cut that please will every Mike Flanagan thing I I'm like I feel I've never seen anything like this yeah and but like I said I mean it's 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 my particular it's my particular brand of bullshit like I yeah. I like the overbearing religious <laughs> metaphors I, I mean, like the fantasy i like the drama the drama kind, of it all i kind of like the religious metaphor but i'm in a similar place where like i didn't cry in this episode i was very emotional but i, was I weeping. thought i was going to throw up because this is the stuff about religion that i cannot get behind where it's so culty and it's so weird and it it asks too much of you. It asks too much faith in totally unseeable, unknowable things. But it's not religion. It's people using yeah. it. Manip people using it to manipulate G yes. you to their own wills and desires. So then a religious figure yeah. is what I and mean. And so then watching, like I said, giving this, giving us this actual boogeyman yeah. that we can really wrap our minds around is just like, man. Yeah. After we're done with the show, the, the jibber we're jabber watch, clowns. We're gonna watch the other two when we're done and really get out of this headspace. God, poor Rachel. We're gonna make Rachel finish. She has no idea what's coming. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this again. She's gonna hate it. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, keep your eyes peeled for reactions to Maybe. the rest of these episodes. So. All right. Bye.